Yeah, today I'm going to discuss something. <clears throat> I told you many times that many people follow me. Many people want me to talk about a lot of things. And uh, I think in my talking, it really helps a lot of people. Basically, there is a saga that really happened a few days ago in Uganda. Uh, it was in northern Uganda and the guys told me they lost, they lost over 1,000 is it uh 14,000 goats or 1,400 something like that sorry um i love to be with goats most of the time and that's what i love best that's what i do best these are my kids this is uh, uh two weeks old this is three weeks old. so this is older than this but they're all very beautiful animals so basically i wanted to discuss about um, the incidents that happened here in uganda uh, farmers lost goats but uh, me I've told you many times that that is what they call a lay money's disease called PPR sometimes they call it goat plague um, sometimes you guys I would like you to take me very very serious with my information why because I tell you what I do I tell you what I see I tell you the loopholes that we need to bridge up the issues that we need to air out. You get it? There is no any way we are going to multiply animals when we still have those kind of conditions. Let me give you an example. Like sometime back here in Uganda, those who have been in this business, you will witness me. Uh, there was a season that people could say this is a season of goats to die. That time was there, believe me or not. It was there. That this is a season for the goats to die. Let me tell you one thing. Um, you bear me a witness, or you will. Um, many people I know that will comment ab about this. It's not a means that started goat farming in this country. Many other people have been doing goat farming for quite some time. I dealt with a project of goats. That's where I got the inspiration. And in that project, I was able to get hands-on touch on goat diseases on goat management on goat challenges the weak points and that's what i'm airing out that's what i'm trying to improve and i also saw the loophole that is re uh, actually um, i also saw the weakness we have as goat farmers in the country which stops us from multiplying the animals and that is the reason why i decided to give people information i tried my best i'm not touching all people because i'm using internet only elite people who knows how to use internet will get my uh, vision or will get my information but those farmers that cannot use internet those people will never get my information but i've not given up i have created more other people you people, when you go on internet, you're seeing many people that are following me. And those people who follow me, you will even see them and understand that this is Hamisi's uh, 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 inspiration. You get? But time, a uh, long time ago, people had uh, days of death of gods. And if something happens, they, they would always say that is their season of death. Somebody will let the animals die and wait for another season that this season i lost let's say 200 i'm remaining with 30 goats or with 100 that's why i always say that goat business is a real business is a good business is a living business whereby even if i lose 100 goats the balance i have i can ably they can ably reproduce and i replace the number and that's what used to happen in country goats would die and they say that is a season of death. When I came up, I told you, no, there is no season of death of gods. What do we have to do? What is the problem? And I told you the problem was those diseases that we were not vaccinating. Like PPR, pox, you know, um, CCPP, uh, like Claw Studios, like Brucella. And I told you guys, let's vaccinate those diseases. Draw a chart, have your chart. I've been able to distribute my chart and I've given it to you. Why don't you print it out and put it in your in your in, in your archive or put it in your office or put it anywhere 
you get whereby you can have the information so basically those that disease that really killed those animals only needed vaccination vaccinating an animal it will only take like uh, let's say 500 shillings per goat but just imagine somebody losing a goat of a million losing a goat of two millions losing a goat of two hundred thousand just because of 500 shillings so my dear people never neglect that treatment is not better better than vaccination but as well treatment can as well work now the the drug that we used to use for that kind of illness which is uh, the the uh, ppr uh, we would use gentamox and also use dexamethasone but as well we could give sulfadimidine to stop the diarrhea because the clinical signs that you see you're going to find an animal having nozzle discharge an animal coughing you're going to find an animal having diarrhea you get and uh, sometimes they have the running eyes so we do what they call symptomatic treatment and we give gentamox we give uh, dexamethasone we also give um, um, s dime and we do it consistently but as well if you give multivitamin it's also another good thing because it increases their appetite increases the metabolism and let the animal try to survive sometimes those animals die not because they are supposed to die but because of the management somebody got gets sick and somebody doesn't even care about it but a sick animal if that happens to you again isolate those animals vaccinate the rest then give the tlc give maximum care to those animals when they are sick make sure they take water make sure they take some food and which food what are the nutritional values that's the best way you can manage that kind of situation so basically i've done my good time i've done my best i have taught you how to vaccinate i've taught you how to take care of the animals i've taught you the breeds that you really need to have in your farms so please help me and do what i'm telling you we shouldn't even have those kind of outbreaks those outbreaks those are just minor and minor outbreaks they are not very serious outbreaks you get it like at my farm i can hardly have that kind of situation why because vaccination is a daily routine let me say it's a, we, we vaccinate every year apart from the close studio because close studios we vaccinate every after three months we vaccinate those which are pregnant and we also vaccinate the, uh, the those ones that have uh, uh, have been produced if you, if you vaccinate an animal when it's pregnant then it is produced when it is produced after also three months also boost the vaccine to the kids you get it so that's how we do it but all in all um i'm trying just to explain to you that we've done a lot and if you follow me very well you'll never go into those matters those issues those mortalities let's kick out all that the moment we kick out those abrupt mortalities the multiplication of animals is going to be very very high in this country but when we hear that kind of downfall we've lost this kind of numbers that is really a very strong negative that is not going to sustain our project what do we do let's get involved don't wait for an outbreak no whichever vaccine that you hear it is there use it and vaccinate your animals we shall move at a very good pace it we had taken such a long time without hearing those kind of incidences that this is a season of death you know no i i say always no to the farmers don't accept that there is no season of death never accept the season of death do the right thing of farming to the animals there you will understand what i'm trying to to mean so you guys that's what i really wanted to inform you um i'm not being furious but i'm just being specific and i'm letting you know that's what i'm telling you if you follow them up you will succeed go with what i tell you because that's what i have succeeded in let me just wish you the best and bye for now